Shabbatov. Shabbatov, Harold. How was Shabbos? You can see was uh, spoke yesterday at Shalashudas. He was very oh. funny. Oh, okay. Yeah. Where, where'd you have Shalashudas? Where they make it? Where they did, you know, they did, uh, they had a hall, Netzach. It was a shul. Oh, right. Netzach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In Shari Chesed. So yeah. he said, Yitzhi said that he was in the same place at the time. Sukkah, Lamed Halev, 31. Tanra Bonan, Sukkah Gzuma, stolen Sukkah. Bamesachek, Bishus Arabim. Or you, you're not allowed to. So a person puts a, a schach in the area of the Chusarabi. So it, in a sense, it's a stolen sukkah. Rabbi Ezer Poiso, Chachamim Makshirin. Rabbi Nachman, Machlokes Bishet Toykev is Chavero. The Machlokes is that you forcibly remove a person by force, took him out of his sukkah that was built on a stolen piece of land. And then Rabbi Ezra said the apostle, he held you're not allowed to use a sukkah that doesn't belong to you. And if land could be stolen, then you're dealing with stolen sukkah, inami, or if you're gonna tell me karka ain mixelis, sukkah shuulahi, at best, it's a borrowed sukkah. And he holds that you're not makaya mitzvah sukkah, unless it's your own sukkah. Rabbanon l'tamayu de'amri, adam yoysei dechumas b'tzukah shokhafei. The Rabbanon hold, you're allowed to, uh, I can go to Harold sukkah, or Walter sukkah, and be yotze mitzvah sukkah. I don't have to need, sit in my own stuff. The Karkana exalts. There is a concept that you can't steal land. And sukkah shuli, therefore it's a borrowed sukkah. There's no problem with a borrowed sukkah. Aval gazal eats. If you stole the schach, the sikhek for him, divra kol elo elgme eatsi, you have to return the value of the Eitzim to the person that you stole from. But when you acquire those pieces of stock, you acquired it as the Gazlan. And therefore, the sukkah is not a sukkah gzul. And you'd be Yotze. Mimai, where do you see this? Yitoni, do me dushusarabi. Because it compared sukkah gzul to mesachek dushusarabi. Just like Rosh Hashanah, the land is not his. Sukkanami, lab karka didehu. So by a sukkah, it's not his land. And over there, we're not talking about the 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 body of the schach itself. Ahi Sapta, there was an old woman. The Asava came to Rav Nachman. It came to Rav Nachman. Amr lei. She claimed that the, the Rosh Kalusa and all the Chachamim were sitting in the stone sukkah. She screamed, but Rav Nachman didn't uh, think she had any halachic grounds because Amrle it's a dahavale lavua plus mea utami sari api. So the woman said, to Rav Nachman, why aren't you listening to me? I'm a woman that my father had 318 servants. You might be a screamer, but it's the schak that you claim was stolen, but all you have to do is pay back, all that we have to do is pay back the value of the, of the schak. And it's not that the goof of the schak is stolen, because the people who took it were already coined it a long time ago. Amravuna, Aikshura, the metaphor of the Gzuma. Aikshura is like a big beam. And that, if that was put into us and it was stolen, that was put into a sukkah. Avdi le Rabbonim takot, Mishum takonos 
there's a special tekan, even though normally you're supposed to try to return an item that you stole, to, you know, the item itself, to help Bali Chuba. Chachami made a tekan, because if you stole a beam and you built a house with the beam, but you'd have to destroy the whole house to return the beam. So there's the tekan on the reish, where all I have to do is pay the value of the beam, and, and, and that's okay. So the same thing with a beam that was put into a sink. So pshita, I mean, maishna meitzim. So first of all, why should it be any different than other pieces of wood that we said if you stole wood and use it as a schach, it would be okay? Because ma'ad is saying the eitzim shkichi avalhai lo shkichi. Regular schach is a is a davar shkiach. It's found aval high no shkiach. But this beam to be stolen to be put in it's not a normal thing, and therefore there's no yehuj. The reason why somebody who steals something acquires it with a kinyan is because of yehuj bali. The original owner that you stole it from has abandoned hope of ever returning it. But maybe with a big beam. He's not miyayish because it's a big item. Kamash Mulan, that Chachomi made a takona anyways. Animili begoshiva. You don't have to return it within the seven days of Sukkot. Avalabasar shiva hadrabene. But when Sukkot is over, then you should return the beam itself. Navichiba betina. But if you cemented it in, even after Sukkot, you can just pay the money. The value of the beam, and you get away with that. Tana yavesh pasu. The mission said that a lulav, dry lulav, is pasu. Rabbi Yudah Machshir, Rabbi Yudah said it was okay. Amar Rav, a machlokes lulav. That's a machlokes regarding the lulav. The rabbanon sabi machshir lulav lesser, because the word hadar appears by the fruit. It says pre eats hadar. So the Rabbana make a hekish because the word kapost marim, which is the lulav, is in the same pasuk as etro. So therefore, makshin and lulav asro. And we say, my esro boy hadar, just like the esro requires this special hidur that it's got to be beautiful if it's, and if it's yavesh, that's not even from zekim ivan veyu. It just, you get there. You can't you cannot be yotze with a dried esrog because it doesn't fulfill hadar. Afulu by hadar. So since esrog and lulav are connected in the same pasuk, lulav requires the same the same get there. However, you just have a lot of lulav esrog. We don't compare the lulav esrog. The esrog has to be hadar, but the lulav doesn't have to be hadar. Well, the esrog give you a call hadar be comes out according to this analysis of Rava, everybody holds that by Esrog you need a hadar, but by Lulav, it's the Machlokas. Afraid to more of a Lulav a boy, Rav Yudah Hadar. Is that so? That Rav Yehuda does not require hadar by Lulav? But man, Rav Yudah Omer, Yagdenu Yomal, that you have to tie with a string the lulav on top as well. Now, why? My time, Allah Mishun the boy Hadda. Isn't the time, isn't the time with a string an aspect of, of Hadar? <laughs> What's his law? Get a tiny time law. Review the Omer Mishun Rav Tarfum. It says, Kapost Marim. Kafus means tied. If I have means if they're separated, you should tie it together. But so it's not an Indian of Hadar. Fred Marvel Boy Hadar. I'll still show you that Rabbi requires Hadar, but not. In Oidinus Alulav, Elabimino. When you tie the Lulav together, you have to use leaves of the Lulav itself. As you see, when you go by a Lulav, the, the, the boys that are wrapping it up, Use use leaves of the lulav itself. Div Rabbi Yehuda. Rabbi Yehuda requires that when you 
secure the lulav with tying it, you have to use leaves of the lulav. My time. Isn't it lav mishum the boy hodar? It's because of the hodar that he requires that. Of course, it's low. You can use any part of the palm, even the moss, even the root. And that's not necessarily a beautiful part of the lulav. So you see, Rabbi Yudah doesn't require heat. So my time at Rabbi Yudah, also. So why does Rabbi Yudah require, why does Rabbi Yudah require Uh, this tying up with Mino, Kosovar, Lulav Tzarek Eged. There's a machlokas whether you have to tie up the Lulav or not. He holds Lulav, you do. And here's the problem if you use something to tie up the Lulav that's not from the Lulav. You use, uh, let's say, uh, it's from another type of truth. Then instead of having arba meaning, four species, you have five species. So the more seems to accept that, that uh, therefore he, he, he didn't prove to me that Rabbi Yudah requires hadar by a lula. But Previously, Rava said that Rabbi Yudha agreed that the esrog required hadar. Uve esrog boy Rabbi Yudha hadar? Is that so? Does Rabbi Yudha require hadar by esrog batanya? Arbos minim shebalulav. You need four species. Lulav, esrog, hadas, arava. Kishem shem parksimem kachem osifimah. You can't have three species. You can't have five species. You have to have four. Lomotza esrog. If he didn't find an esrog, you can't bring, you can't bring some other kind of food. A pomegranate, kimushin. If they're a little dry, shaven, evasion ksuva. If they're dry, it's possible. You could no, tie up an esrog with a with a with a rubber band. Would that be considered a fifth min? A rubber band? If you tie a, if you tie the arba medium with a rubber band? Yeah. That's a that, fifth we, that would that would be a, a fifth a fifth min, right? Right. A piece of rubber that's a different it's also a plant. Yeah. Now what now so how, what about if you return it after you, let's say you return a lulav after uh, sukkahs. So that's not, uh, if you stole it and you return it. So what are you returning? You're giving it back what you stole, but it's no value. So, but you're giving it back the same but thing. Sometimes, sometimes, so some, first of all, you would not be yotze mitzvah lulav on the first day. Because you like but lachem. For, so, how, how do you re, so how do you have to return but it? Money? Not, it there are many, many examples where you leave it to the guy, you leave, you return it, and that you, you returned it to end, even right. though maybe it dropped, it, it, it lost its value. You no value. But Hashabbos is that same. Like, 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 how much Shavar, you return it? What's yeah. that? What do we talk? So yeah. you could, and what do you, and she's not, it's also to, to use it, but, but are you returning what you stole? Are you Makayim Hashabbos as a Gzela? Yes. Uh, We'll see the Matlokas and Baba Kama regarding Kishas and Gzela uh -huh. at the, if it's worth a certain value at the time you stole it, you got to return that value. Others will, the other side of the Matlokas is that no, as long as you return it at the end, even though now it's not worth anything, uh -huh. you've returned. Sure. So, Rabbi Yudah Oymer Afyavation, even dried. So you see, Rabbi Yehuda doesn't require Hodar by Esra. Rabbi Yehuda, Maizab of Nekrochin, there were people who lived in big cities that were very far away, where 
you're very far away from four species. Let's say you were in Poland or in Rust, Russia, far away from Eretz Israel or, or Greece, wherever these items came from. They would leave over Lulav as a Yerusha to break to their grandchildren. Because otherwise they wouldn't have any Lula. Now, the stomma it became dry over the many years that these Lulavs were passed down from generation to generation, which was a, a proof to Rav Yehuda that even a dried estrog was okay. So, there's no proof in there. Ain Shas Abchak, right? Listen, they had no other alternative. Maybe they mat here because it's a Shas Abchak. But Meikradin, uh, that's not approved. Well, Ketoni Mias, whatever you want to say, comes out from that source. Rabbi Yudha Oymer, Af Yuvation, Ksheri, my love, I etrog. The Gemara understands that when he said Yuvation, it referred to the etrog. Or says, no, Alulav, Rabbi Yudha didn't mean the etrog there, it meant the Lulav. But in Echanami, he requires Hadar by the etrog. Amr, my. Shem, shem, parts of my hand. Kach, yom, we We said, you have to have four meaning. You can't have five, you can't have three, because the Torah listed Arba mean. So the verse is Pshita. I mean, why would we why would we think you're you're being over baltoisit? I mean, why why it's a double portion? Mo to say Since Rav Yudah says you're required to tie up the Lula. Maybe like Elazar said, you bring a rubber band. Maybe the rubber band is its own thing. And the other four is it thing. And maybe the, you, look, you look at the rubber band as if it's not there. Kamash London, no. We, we don't do that. And you can't bring another species to hold it together. Omer Lomotz Esrog, the Brisa also said if you didn't find an Esrog, Lo Yavi Lo Rimon, Lo Porish, Lo Don, you can't bring a pomegranate or a lemon or anything else. Again, the Gemara says, treat them. The Torah says, bring an Esrog. Why would I think I could bring something else? Now the same, let's say you're in a place that doesn't have Esrog. So maybe a pomegranate would serve as a placeholder. You know what? We need a fourth species. We don't have an estro. So we'll bring a lemon or a pomegranate. It's a reminder that, you know what? That normally we understand that we need four. We don't have the fourth, so we'll put this as a replacement. Kamash Malon, we don't allow that because they need nothing culminate because there'll be a, a destruction that will occur because the Asim of Mitzvah, they'll, can, they'll think that that's the correct mean over the generations, but we'll forget that you've got to use an Esrog. Toshma, Esrog HaYoshon, Apostle, Rav Yudamachshim, an old Esrog is dried up, it's not hotter anymore, but Rabbi Yudha says it's okay. Seems to imply that Rabbi Yudha does not require Hodar by Ezra. Because Rabbi said that even Rabbi Yudha requires Hodar by Ezra. But from here, it seems it's not like that. So now you're proving to me that Rabbi Yudah does not require it. Or says, not so, but not, not. Hayarok kakresi. If the esrog was green like leeks, Rav Meir Machshir, Rabbi Yudah poisoned. Rabbi Yudah said it's not good. Lav Mishum the boy Hodor. Is it because a green esrog is not Hodor? No. Mishum the boy Gomer Peiri. It's not right. It's not, it hasn't reached the status of an estro because it's not ripe enough to be called an estro, but not because of lack of hunger. 
If it was lack of hadar only, Rabbi Yudah would allow it because it doesn't require hadar. Pashma. Sheer esrit cotton. What's the smallest esrit? Mer oimer keegos. A walnut. Shouldn't be smaller than that. Rabbi Yudah oimer kebetza. It should not be smaller than an egg. Now, why does Rav Yudah require a, as big as an egg? Isn't it because if it's smaller than that, it's a lack of hidur? Isn't lav mishum the boy hodar and and an egg and an egg goes would 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 not be hodar? Or says lav mishum the boy gomer peyre? Again, it hasn't even risen to the status of a fruit yet. It's it's unripe enough where it's not considered an esra. Toshma, the godl. What does it mean, godl? It shouldn't, you should always be able to hold two shnei astrogim biyado achas. You should be able to hold two astrog in one hand. Why? Because we're going to see you have to hold the lulav and estrog in one hand. So the way you do that, it should, the esrog shouldn't be bigger yeah. where you couldn't hold two esrog in one hand. Dear Rabbi, Rabbi Yosi, I'm feeling echad b'shtei yadav. No, even if an esrog is so big that you have to hold one esrog with two hands, that's also okay. Now, why did Rabbi Yehuda require make a limit? Isn't it lav mishum deboy hodar that? An Esra that's really big lacks Hidur. He says, no, no, there's a different reason over there why he limited it to being able to hold two Esra in one hand. Kivan to Omer Rabba, Lulav Yemi and Vesra the small. Rabba said, you have to hold the Lulav in your right hand, Esra in your left hand. Zimnan de Machalfile, the Asi la Buchinu, the Asi Lipsule. If the esrog is too big, well, you wouldn't be able to hold it in one hand. Sometimes they'll give you the esrog to your right and a little in the small in, to your left, and you'll switch hands and you'll possibly. The other Rabbi Huda Haksiv Hotel. So comes out that there's no requirement because we've proven now multiple ways that Rabbi Yudah does not require Hadar even by the Esra. But the problem is it says creates Hadar. What does is, what is Rabbi Yudah do with the fact that it seems that the Esra needs to have Hadar for the Torah? So the more answers are who Hadar be Ilona Mishon Shah, Hadar be Ilona Mishon Shah. The word there, Hadar, doesn't mean beautiful. It means uh, the esrog is unique among fruits that it, it, it will sit in the tree from year to year. It doesn't dry up like most parents will. One of that is the esrog. And so it's going to do with Hidur. It has to do with Hadar, that which dwells, be Ilana Mishan Then the Mishnah said, "Shel Asherah v'Shel Irani Dachas." If you used a lulav from an Asherah tree or a tree that grew in the city of an Irani Dachas, it's possible. Freighting more v'Shel Asherah, possible. Is that so? Lama Rav, a lulav shel Avodazara lo yito. If a lulav belonged to an Avodazara. You shouldn't let Chatrina do it. We're not all kosher, but if you did it, it's kosher. So the Gemara says, "Hachal b'asher the Moshe askina." Rashi says, "Oisam shayu b'shas kibush Eretz Yisrael." There were Asherah trees in Eretz Canaan when Kleisel went into Eretz Canaan. Shetzrikam at kosuv sreif. 
those are shayla trees required to be burnt. The lulav tzarach shir, and lulav has to have a minimum shir. The high command of mitzvah shiur kevin l'sreif according. Something that is oy made l'sreif has to be burnt is considered as if it's not there. Therefore, it doesn't have a shear. And since there's no shear because it's oymed l'streifa, that's why that's why it's possible. And it's only the asher of Moshe. But later on, if you have a tree that was worshipped, so it's not oymed l'streifa. Why did it? Why did it say asher of irani dachas? Because Everything in an Irani Dacha city has to be burnt. So it's got the same, same svara of Michtas Shiure. There's no shear. Then it says, Niktam Roishun. If the top of the Lula was cut off, it's possible. Unravuna Loishun or Niktam. It's only if it's cut off. Aval Nizdak, if it's separated, kosher. Think more of an isda kosher, but I'll tell you, lulav kafu. If the head of the lulav is bent over, or kavuts, we're on Lamed Bays now, Lamed Bays of Adalah. Are we continuing? No, no, I'm not going to continue. I'm not gonna, uh-huh. It's too long. A lot. There's a lot, of, right. a lot of halal I want to learn here. So we'll wait until <laughs> I get back. What's what's, consi- what's considered what's considered